Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Craig vs Games for 2021. Uh, don't say it too loud, but uh, I, I'm just one game behind, I think I was going to say we, but you're not playing and I don't want to blame you for all of my losses when they come. Uh, but I am currently one game behind in the standings, so this is our chance to pull level and today we are going to revisit a game that we played in last year's series and that game is Burgle Bros. So we're going to try and break in, steal the stuff and break back out. Let's see if we can pull it off. Alright, Burgle Bros is ready to set up. Um, I'm not going to teach you how to play Burgle Bros because I did a little bit of that last time round. I will just crack on, get going. If you don't know what's going on, you'll pick it up eventually. Before we start, I'll just mention the team of uh, burglars that I've assembled for this job. I've got the Rigger, who starts with the Dynamite, so we've got a tool already. And when we get more tools, you can have a choice between two tools. You go to pick one. I've got the hacker who's good at not triggering alarms and helping other people to not trigger alarms, and we've got the hawk who is good at peeking through walls. So we're ready to start. We're going to figure out where this guard starts on the ground floor or floor number one is right in the corner. Oops, that's not what goes over there. That goes over there. So with that knowledge, we get to choose where we want to start. I think that maybe this corner is the scariest piece, so I'm going to start here on this tile. Found a motion computer room. Uh, the rigger is going to start there, and for first action, I'm going to peek in this corner. There's a detector alarm, which is good for a place for it to be because remember the rigger's already got to allow would trigger that. I'm going to peek at this tile. That's a motion alarm, so it says stop here or trigger an alarm. I intend to stop there, and then I'm going to peek at this one. Close one, peek, move as three, peek at this one. There's the stairs up, excellent. There's four actions, figure out where this guard's going to, is going to directly here. That always happens. One, two. Okay, that was the rigger. Here we go with the hacker. We're starting there. Now the hacker doesn't trigger fingerprint laser or motion alarm, so he can head upstairs. Do I want to do that? One, two, just go for it. Split up straight away. It's not a terrible idea now. One, two, three. Nope, because that's a dead bolt. He can't get in. But by... No, I'm, I'm going to say that that guard doesn't appear. So normally when um, you, you go onto a new floor, the guard pops up and you figure out where he is. But I'm going to say that he didn't manage to do that. So that was his third action. So for a fourth action, I think that this hacker will peek here. Fine. Walkway, doesn't matter, this guard, two movement, one, two. Uh, now the problem is that the hawk can't get upstairs either. And there's also potentially in the way Uh, what does the dynamite do? Does the dynamite help us destroy? Discard to destroy a wall adjacent to you. Players in the guard may pass through that wall, trigger an alarm in the current player's tile. That doesn't seem to help. So definitely as a free action, the hawk can peek. The question is, should they peek? They'll peek up here. It's a thermal alarm. So the free action is to peek through a wall. Um, I suspect that for two actions, do this, right, hack a motion computer room, and for a third action, or for a fourth action, do this, and just be a bit out of the way, because then the scar's going to move to one, sees the rigger, and then he's heading back up there too. He doesn't see the rigger. The rigger has to use a stealth in order to, to not be seen. And now it's a bit in the way, but the rigger can be the one who goes one, two, three, four, and we pop upstairs, we split up. Is that what I want to do? Because if I do that, then this guy's not gonna move from that position and that's not a good position for him to be in. What are the other options? Do this one, two, three, 
for so now we're stopped up on motion triggers this guy goes one two spaces good now we move to the hacker the hacker is going to be like hundred percent eventually we did it and this guy starts on this space here uh, so i think the hacker's safe it's going to just move into this space it's the atrium which means you can peek up but you can also be seen from below below that's a bit dangerous so this guy on this floor now is going to move and he's going to move into that space one two he's got three movements so he's going to keep going and he's going to start come back this way hawk time hawk's going to go one two free action to peek at this tile it's a laser computer room um i think peak here that's a detector which is not good for the, the rigger but it's all right for the hook so the hook should move there that was one two peak yep so that's four uh, this guy's gonna go one and two like this way so now the rigger what is the deal with the rigger? What are they going to do? If they go into there, it's going to trigger an alarm, which means the hook is going to have to spend a stealth. Probably don't want to do that. Could come here, blow up this wall, and go this way. One, blow up the wall would be three, two, three, and then this guard would be coming this way, out of the way. It's not a terrible idea, you know. Let's do it. I don't want to be standing still too much, I don't think. So one, spinning the dynamite. Destroy a wall adjacent to you, destroying this wall, it's gone. But it also triggers an alarm here. That's still one. I'm then going to move here for two. If actions end here, trigger this alarm. I don't think they're going to end there because I'm going to peek at this tile. It's a fingerprint alarm, it's going to set off a fingerprint alarm. Um, and the rigger's already lost a stealth. I'm going to go into it and trigger an alarm. That seems unwise, doesn't it? But what is the other option? That's going to trigger if I stay there. <laughs> if I go there, I'm definitely going to get. You have to spend a stealth. If I go up there, I'm going to have to spend a stealth as well, though. I think this is the option. I'm spending the stealth in there, but I think being in this space is better than being in the other spaces. So this guard goes. Um, so I imagine that I can select where he wants to go to. Don't want him to. So he's going to be moving four. One, two, three, four. Don't want him to end there. So that. Then he's going to move away, yes. That's what I want to do. So he's going to head here first. One, two, turn off this alarm. We're heading towards here. Three, four. Turn off this alarm. And we'll just figure out where he's heading to next, which is going to be in this space here. And um, this rigger has to spend a stealth, down to one stealth left already. Hacker time. Um, peak here. A deadbolt, just jump into the deadbolt. These are that's awful. Oh dear, this guy three one two three reaches destination. He's now coming down here. Get out of the way, hacker. All right, hawk. Uh, I'm gonna move to here. One and the service ducts. Hopefully, the other service ducts are somewhere up here. That'd be handy. Free action to look through a wall, which is going to be this one. Foyer. Uh, I'm going to peek at this for three. I found the safe. But we need all of these for the combination, so I'm just going to take the four. This guy will go with one, two. Now we go to the rigger, who is going to get out of the way. One, two, three. Just to be out of the way. But this triggers an alarm for him, so it's no good in being there, unless he heads upstairs. But then it's all going to be up to the hawk to do this level. 
da, da, da. stand still. No, because then the guard on the horse turn is going to go one, on his turn going one two, then the horse turn is going to go one two, and be back in exactly the same spot. Uh, maybe not stand still, but go here for two actions, and then we'll trigger an event. So shift change, guard on your floor doesn't move, instead guards on other floors move. So this guard goes three, one, two, three. Uh, so that is now the hacker's turn. I want to be ideally, oh I can go up in this corner, if I can get there, peak for one, there's the safe, two, peak for three, laser alarm. If I go up there it'll trigger an alarm. But if I, hmm, oh, does he trigger a laser alarm? No, he doesn't. He's the hacker. I don't trigger laser alarms. Might be. Uh, that was a bit rude, wasn't it? Unnecessary. Anyway, this guy's moving three spaces. One, then he's going to go clockwise to there. Two, three. Like it. Hawk time. Uh, we need to peek up here for what? Uh, or do we, do we do that last? Go down here. Move here for one. Laboratory, which means the hacker, the, sorry, the hawk draws two tools and chooses which one to keep. I am going to keep the stethoscope. So the stethoscope says uh, discard after cracking, attempt to change the result of any one die to any side you like. That was one. Peak for two, because I don't need to go into it. There's just another detector alarm. It's good that they're out of the way. Move back here for three. Peak at this for four. Camera. Guard moves two. One, two. Guard is going this way. Um... Which I think makes sense for the rigger to maybe trigger this motion alarm so that the, so that the guard has to go around this bit here. But then where would he go? Trigger the motion, come and stand here. Or maybe here to be entirely safe because that's the only draw that would make the guard go that way. And then hopefully they have time to go upstairs. I'm gonna do it, you know. One, two, three. I'm not even gonna hack the motion alarm. I'm gonna trigger it. I'm gonna trigger it. So then this guy says, and it's gonna sort that out. One, two, and then it's head this way. Hack time. This guy's gonna go one, two, three. So pretty safe in terms of. Oh, well, the rigger wouldn't want to come upstairs though, would they? So you want to try and trigger an alarm. It might be a good idea. Well, let's move here, one. If you end here, thermal, I don't want to trigger that alarm. Let, we need this tile for the safe combination. I'm going to peek at it for two. Stop here, we'll trigger an alarm. Two, and then move down into there. And then the guard would probably not come to there. Or it doesn't trigger motion alarms. That's not good, is it? Yeah, I'm just going to keep moving with this hacker. Three, camera, fine. And then move to here for four. Found the stairs. Let's go. Moves three. One, two, three. Then he is heading uh, up there. Hawk time. I think Hawk's just going to spend two action, four actions to put two dice on there for cracking the safe. What combination do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need quite a few dice for that probably. This guy's going to go three, one, two. Turn off the alarm and flip a destination to go that way. Uh, back to Riga. And they're just going to keep moving the guard back. We could do now. Just keep going one, two, three, four. Tets in this guard this way.
This is, see, this is not a problem really, is it? So the only tiles from here that would be a problem would be this one and this one. Because everything else is back this way, and if it's up here, we'd go clockwise, which would be back to here to go up there. So no problems, so I think it's just an event for the rigger. I think, so let's do it. Heads up, the next player gains an additional action. This guy moves one, see what this is. Two. So the hacker has now got five actions. We need this tile for the combination. So let's... Do I want to split up entirely? Do I want to split up entirely? I mean, the ground floor is nearly done, isn't it? It'd be really good if I could find the other service ducks before I did that, though. Let's move into this tile one. Atrium, I can be moved. Seeing from upstairs. Peek at this tile two. Keypad, I don't really care. Three. Peek at this tile. I haven't found a service duct. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to come up through the dead ball. Anyway, this guard, three spaces, one, two, three. Hawk time, I think. Spend four more actions to add two more dice. This guard, one, two. Rigger, I think now is a good time for the rigger. Go one, two, three, four. Is that a good time to do it? Because then this guy's gonna go one, two, three, we'll figure out where he's heading to next, and the hacker can head upstairs, potentially. So now it's hacker time. Do they want to head upstairs? I think it's probably time. Because I'm just gonna be rolling dice down here. The hawk's probably gonna set off some alarms on the way, but they'll be getting out. Okay, we'll do it. So I'm gonna head up to the third floor, and you can't see it on the camera, so two seconds. I am just gonna adjust the camera so you can see floors two and three. All right, quick camera angle change, I'm on this side now, hello. Uh, hacker's turn, one move to go upstairs. It's the stairs out. Interesting, so uh, we can't get out until we've actually got all the loot, of which we currently have none. But that's where the stairs out are. I'm going to reveal all of this, and that is where the guard is. We probably better get out of his way. And then, with one move, I'm going to peg it this way, or maybe into this corner. Two. No, because it's a dead ball. That's all of my actions. Okay, this guard is going to here. Need one. Two, three, four. So the hacker has to spend a stealth token. That wasn't particularly great. Any time for a hawk. I'm gonna try and crack this safe, I think. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got four rolls before the guard moves, and even then I don't think we'll worry about this guard. That's two, three, six. Two, six, three. So just one, four, five left. There's one. And then just four and five left. Two more rolls left. No. And there's a four, but not a five. But I think it's probably worthwhile using the stethoscope to crack the safe. Four and five, so the hawk's getting the loot and is also getting a choice of tools. The loot we've got is a stamp. This is just makes events more likely to happen. And from the tools, I think this might be handy. Makeup kit, discard to give all players on your current tile a stealth token. So if we're going to get more than one person together, we can just get some stealth for free. Anyway. That makes this guard faster on the ground floor. You can't see him, but he's now moving at a speed of three. And he's going one, he's a new destination. He's heading to the stairs. Two, three, it's a bit in the way. Uh, we're now on the rigger. Should the rigger 
go and stand on that dead ball or wait on this dead ball and trigger an event. Does an event hurt? I mean, it's probably depends what event it is. I think with only one stealth left, it might be sensible to just stop still and wait for the hawk to get there so that we can do our thing. Let's do it. Time lock. Players cannot move up or down stairs for a round. Anyway, so this guy will move three, one, two, three. Worthwhile remembering that I've had this location. Okay, we know that the guard's going this way. Shall I head back that way? Oh, what a floor have I built here? It's like a long, thin corridor all the way around it. Mm, okay. One, two. Oh, I might as well have gone this way because he doesn't really worry about triggering alarms. There's one, seen from adjacent. Here's two, secret door. We haven't seen any secret doors yet, and that one's in a not particularly good position and doesn't actually do anything. Move for three, fingerprint computer room. Do I want to put a hack token on there for the last action? I don't think it helps any. There's only one fingerprint room on the ground floor. We're not worried about that anymore. There's some other fingerprint rooms around here though, but the hacker doesn't really care. Four, move into the laser room. He doesn't trigger any laser alarms. Guard, four movement, one, two, three, four. Worth remembering that this guy's been in this corner. And over to the hawk. Who can go one, two, it would trigger an alarm, three, four, trigger that alarm, or we could just use the hack token. Might as well use the hack token while we can. And then we get ready to go upstairs, yep. One, two, three, four, so that triggers an alarm here for the detector. And we spend the hack token to not trigger an alarm on this motion tile. This guy's got four movement on the ground floor. One, you're not seeing any of this area because it's not on camera. I hope my, uh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> two, three, four. The guard, so where the stairs were, was next to a walkway. The guard drew the, ta the destination of the walkway, so I had to walk past the hawk. So the hawk has got to spend one of their stealth tokens. But we'll be coming upstairs on the next turn for them. That time lock's went away, so now we can go up and down stairs. But the rigger doesn't want to go up or down stairs, because we don't want to trigger the guard on the first floor, because we're already still far away, and this guard's heading this way. Would be in the dead... Oh, no, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to do an event for the rigger. Brown out. Alarm tokens on all floors are removed. There are no alarm tokens on any floors. So this guard three's movement, one, two, three. Hacker. I'm just gonna see if we can find the stairs in this bottom corner. I think well he's the only one on this floor. One keypad, so I need to roll to get into the keypad. First try, no. Second try, yes, we're on six, we're in. I'm gonna move here for three, camera. There are no guards on cameras, but I'm going to move off this camera just in case. It's another camera. That was four. So this guy moves four spaces. One, two, three. And heads up there. Hawk time. Now we can get upstairs for one action. For a free action, the hawk can peek through a wall. Do you want to peek at this one or this one? Um, well, she's going to be probably here on the next turn as well because we, we don't want to get in the way of the guard, so we're going to do both of them eventually. I'll do this one. That's actually perfect because now can go to. We know that the guard isn't going to go that way. The guard's going to go one, probably back up here, so we'll be stood on the safe. So it's not a good idea to go stand on the safe. But from there, the guard will go that way, so it's safe to go to this motion alarm. That's a bit scary, standing there. But I think it's safe. Unless he draws this one. The guard draws that one. And we know they've had that one. That was three actions. The hawk's got this stamp, which means that the event's going to happen. 
So bearing that in mind, do the rich just stand there because they're going to trigger an event anyway? I think yes. Draw a tool that says jury rig. That's a pretty good event. What have we got? Mm. Smoke bomb. Discard to add three stealth tokens to your current room. That would seem to be low on stealth, maybe, so that's probably a sensible option. Guard moves one. Guard heads back this way. Two, three. Over to the rigger. They could actually go one, two, three, four, split up. They avoid losing blows are stealthy if the guard turns up in the same spot by miraculous guard movement. One, two, three. Hacker turn. Oh, did anybody? Oh, yeah. So that's just happened now. This guard's on a camera. The hacker's on a camera. That triggers an alarm here. So this guard's going to be moving five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. The hacker's kind of stuck in this space at the minute. So it's going, probably going to be safe to peek at both of these, choose which one to move to. So peek for one, the lavatory. It's not a particularly great place for it to be. Those stealth tokens are probably not particularly useful. Peek here, we found the service docks. Ooh, all the way to the ground floor. Is that any use to anyone? Eh? I mean, I think most sense it says hackers should go and stand there. That's three actions, that's fine. Guard's got five movement. One, two, three, four, five. Hawk's turn. Oh, we didn't get to peek at that one. But that's because the secret door was there, that's fine. One, Two, this is stop here or trigger an alarm, except we've got a motion hack, so I'll do that. And then three, four, add a dice. This guy's moving three, one. Coming back this way, two, three. A little bit scary. Um, rigger, one. Two, three. The hawk's gonna spend our makeup kit. Discard to give all stealth play all players on your current pile a stealth token. That seems legitimate. Could use the smoke bomb as well, but I think that might come in handy elsewhere. Maybe. Guard movement. The gut the rigor use. Did the did the hook use three actions yet? Four actions, yes. Rigger's used three actions, so it doesn't trigger event. One. Yeah, go all the way down there. Two, three. Time for the hacker. Probably just going to take an event because we want that guard to move out of the way. Let's do it. The event says, buddy system, choose a player, move their piece onto your current tile. What? Craziness. What is the best solution then? I mean, it's going to be the Hawks' turn next. Do we want them to be carrying everything? So that then in detector alarms are not triggered. Oh, we've, all got, we've got all three detector alarms on the ground floor. So it's not important which of these three gets moved up. Except the Hawk could on their turn peek in here for free. So I'm going to choose the hook. They come up there. This guy's moving five, one. Two. <laughs> Three, four. Fine, we'll spend both of these. Having said the lavatory was in a bad position, it came in very handy indeed. But now, unfortunately, this guard's gonna go here. Then that's it. And now it's the hawk's turn, so for free, they can look at this. Found the safe. We've nearly got the combination for the safe. 
do they want to stay where they are? They haven't taken any actions. Or do they want to spend the stealth? No, it's not a good idea to spend stealth because yes. It's not a good idea to spend stealth. Let's do an event. They've been good so far. The garden on your floor has one additional movement. Espresso, it's called. Uh, this is five movement then. One, two, three, four, five. Rigger is going to try and break into the safe. But he might have more dice before he does it. Combination required is one, two, three, four, five. I think that we're safe to take another turn to take two more dice on there. One, two, three. A hacker. Uh, no guards on any cameras, so safe to go. One, two, three, four. Safe ish. Here, maybe. I mean, it doesn't really matter because if the guy comes back this way, then after the Hawk's turn, he's going to be done for him. He's going to have to spend a stealth. So I'm going to, yeah, we're, just, we're taking a risk now. Calculated risk. One. It happened. Two, three, four. Hacker has to spend the stealth. He's got one left. Uh, destination for the guard is over here. Hawk. Hmm. Could just come and stand because we know that guy's going the other way. One, two, three. That would mean an event because the hawk's got the stamp. I think we sh we're okay with taking an event. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Jump the gun. Skip the next player's turn, that's not what I wanted to happen. Let's go move four, one, two, three, four. So we're skipping the rigger's turn, they're not gonna get it to break into the safe. The hacker's gonna go. And the hacker's gonna go one, two, or should we just fingerprint it up? I think a fingerprint alarm's around here somewhere, even if it's not for the hacker. Two, three, four. Let's go in one. Two is almost through his deck of destinations. Ooh. Three, four. Coming back this way. Get out of the way, everybody. Can the hawk get out of the way? One, two, three, four. But that would trigger the laser alarm. We've not hacked any laser rooms, have we? So that would mean. Oh, you know what's really handy now? Watch this. One, two, triggering that laser alarm, spending the smoke bomb, discard to add three stealth tokens to where you are. Oh, in fact, I'm not going to trigger the laser though. So one, two, three, spent the, spent the smoke bomb, because that means that this guy's going to four spaces, one, two, three, four. And now he's past us, we have to spend these two stealth tokens, and he's going the other way. Sometimes the plan comes together. Okay, rigger time, we need one, two, three, four, five on this combination. Let's see what we get. Two, four, five. Two, four, five. I need one, three. There's a three. Two more rolls for this turn, there's a one. We've broken into this safe, so that means that this guard gets faster. Also means that the guard on the ground floor gets faster, he's not gonna move ever again, probably. Uh, the rigger gets a loot first, and then two tools to choose from. The loot we've got is an isotope. It says trigger an alarm when you enter a thermal alarm room which he probably is going to do, but we'll not worry about it too much. And as for a tool, I'm going to take the donuts, which says place the donuts under any guard next time that guard will be moving still. Instead, they lose all of their movement. And the rigger's got one more move left, so the rigger goes there. 
This guy's got four movement now. One, two, three, four. And that's an unfortunate place for them to stand. That is unfortunate. Anyway, moving on. Hacker. This dead ball's in a bad position. this tile so I'm not going to bother about it. I'm going to go one, two and I can't move away further. So that triggers an event. We'll see what we get. Shoplifting. Alarms are triggered on all laboratory tiles that have had something taken from them. So that's the one on the ground floor which doesn't really make much difference. This guard goes for one, two, three, four is now heading here. Oh, it was revealed here, so one, two, three, then back for four. Uh, that was that. The hawk is going to go one, two, because that's the only thing that really makes any sense. We shall see what the event is, daydreaming, the guard on your floor has one less movement this turn, so three total, one, two, three. Uh, we've now got the rigger, they could have used their donuts, but I don't think they wanted to. In fact, it's probably sensible for the rigger to stand, to stay on this floor for the time being. The guard's going to go one, two, three, four. Going into here would trigger an alarm. Is that what they want to do? Probably not. How about going downstairs to the service duct to head there? No, because the service duct is all the way away from the stairs. Uh, maybe just get out of the way. One, trigger an event, see what happens. Let's do it. The guard on your floor and his destination swap positions called switch signs. I don't think that's particularly useful. Do I want to stop this guy from moving? One, two, three, four. I want to go on the stairs. Probably not yet though, because we're still, I'd, I'd like to get this tidy up. So no, I'm just gonna leave it. One, two, three, four. And then this guy's gonna go there. Hacker. It's going to go three, move to this one for, f oh no, maybe just stay there. Don't let the hook out as well. Yes. This guard then goes one. And we need to shuffle up their destination to see where they're going to next. So the hackers are the only one who's I'm worried about stealth wise. I've only got one left. Guard destination in any of these spaces, then that is that stealth is going to go. But I think it's more useful for the hacker to be on that position. Is that right? Just so the hawk can get through. And where else would they go? Even if they weren't there, then it's still the same. Any of these four would be, except this one wouldn't. You should be reducing it by one. It doesn't seem like it's worthwhile. We'll just hope for a good draw, shall we? C2, it's not particularly great. So that's two movement, the hawk has to spend stealth. Oh, that's better. Three, four. And, but now, because we've gone through this deck, this guard next time in, we'll be moving five. Hawk time, three, move to here for four. No, I don't want an alarm, do I? I'm gonna peek. Laboratory. This guy moves five. One, two, three, four. Oh, we don't have any cameras. Five. Uh, Rigger is going to stay where they are. One, two, three, four. The problem is I can't get upstairs 
But when the time is right, going upstairs to the stairs to get out is simple. So just stay still, we'll do an event. Go with your gut. If you are adjacent to an unexplored tile, just move onto it. That could be horrible. Don't want to do that. Anyway, I'm not doing it. One. Now this guy in his deck is moving and shuffling up. to go and get so the hack is probably safe safest with this one stealth going here we get a tool for going here so we'll do uh, the tool has got two tools and he's gonna choose to have an invisibility suit which says discards not be seen by guards or cameras while moving and gain an additional action that was one move here for two fingerprint alarm except is the hacker so he doesn't trigger fingerprint alarms Move to safe for three. All good. This guard moves five. One, two, three, four. Five. Then it's the hawk. Does the hawk want to go and help with the safe or stay on the dead ball and be the person who deals with letting the hacker back through there. The hawk could come and stand here because it's a bit safer. Safer in air quotes. By one potential tile draw. And it's also a bit further away. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I will. But that also triggers an event because that's just one action. Where is he? Guard on your floor jumps to its current destination. <laughs> okay, now it's the guard's turn. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Hawk has to spend a stealth. Is down to just the one left. Guard is going that way, which means that on the next turn, when the hacker's gone, the guard will take another stealth, another lose another stealth. Um, in which case the rig is going to use the donuts and then just stay where they are and trigger an event again which says crash if there are no active alarms on your floor then set the guard destination on your floor to your current aisle just random one, two, I have to spend a stealth down to one for the rigger. Uh, then the next destination is here. Two, three, sorry, that was one, two, three, four, five. Nobody on the camera? No. Nope. Uh, hacker, spend two actions, do that. What's the combination on this floor? One, two, five, six. Uh, then this guard would move except it's got the donuts so it doesn't then hawk is going to get out of the way could go one two add another dice and be rather than going here where, where I mean, that's a fairly safe position, except for when the guard comes backwards and forwards between there. I'm going to do it this way. One, two. But it would have triggered an alarm here, except we've got this fingerprint room hacked. And also, add a dice. Then this guard moves five. One, two. Three, four, five. And then... The rigger is going to go. He no, I'm going to just stay where they are. 
and again, triggering event. <laughs> Gymnastics, walkway tiles act as stairs for one round for all players. We haven't seen any walkways, have we? Oh, there's one round the ground floor. This card, five, one, two, three, four, five. Hacker, time to try and get into the safe link. Because the hook can also do it on their turn. One, two, five, six is what I said. Let's see what we get. There's a one. There's a six. Uh, where's the other six? No, oh, there isn't one. It's just twos and fives now. And there's a two. Mm -hmm. One more roll for this turn. We're looking for fives. Nope. So we didn't get in that time, but pretty sure we can get in next time. This guy's moved five. One, two, three. That's not a great place to be heading. Four, five. It's also not a great place to be stood. Hmm. Hawk. Oh, if we move. If we crack the safe there, we'll be heading at six. Is that what we want to do? I mean, that's how we win the game, isn't it? Crack the safe. That is not a five. There's a five, so we're in. We're in. We've cracked all three safes. Uh, this guard gets to be a six speed. This guard on the second floor gets to be a six speed. And the guard on the first floor, who's just chilling out, gets to be a five speed. We get one more loot and the final two tools. I imagine we get to shuffle it up. The loot that the hawk gets is a gemstone, which says pay an extra action to enter a tile occupied by another player. And then the tool, I don't really want to peek at anything. But I've got a crowbar, discard to permanently disable an adjacent tile. That's going to come in handy, I think. Mm -hmm. That was two rolls, correct? For in which case, the hawk is going to stay where they are. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's the only thing really to do, so that triggers an event. Dead drop. Current player passes all tools and loot to the player on their right. You can have this problem. So now the hacker has got the invisible suit and the crowbar, the gemstone and the stamp. Let's go and move six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I think that's going to work out because now the rig is just going to draw an event and hope that we get lucky. Oosh. Freight elevator, fall up one floor, doesn't count as entering the tile. Fall up to the safe. I mean, I don't think I like it, uh, which means that this guy moves six, one, two, three, four, five. Six. And in here, we're kind of safe as we are, so what's the hack going to do? The hacker can go one, we don't trigger the fingerprint one because it's a hacker, two, can then use the crowbar on this dead ball room. So it's permanently disabled and adjacent tile, so it's not a dead ball anymore. Two. I'm gonna use the invisible suit to get an extra action doesn't care about being seen, just get an extra action because I can go three, four, five an hour. So because they're no longer here, that doesn't mean, that means the guard doesn't move. Then we go to the hook, who goes one, two, three, four, can't get out, but we don't trigger the finger pro because we're gonna spend the hack so quick. this guy moves six, one, two, three, I think we're doing it four, five, six. Then the rigger goes 
one doesn't trigger the fingerprint because we've got a hacksaw pin. Two, three, four. We can go through the deadbolt because we've crowbarred it. This guy will go six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Packers out. Hook can get out. Rigger can get out. Success for Craig. We've successfully stolen the isotope, the stamp, and the gemstone. Hopefully that's worth lots of money, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure why we did it, but hopefully we've achieved what we set out to do, and that is a victory.